wanted to show you this really cute game called Candy Chaser. It's another game designed in Japan. This game is really fun and one of my favourites also this year. This game is published by Grounding Inc. who also did the really cool game Machikoro. And the designer of this game is Masao Suganuma and the artist is Noboru Hota. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of the game. So let's have a look. And if we have a look at the box, you'll notice that um, it's shiny. As you can see the reflection there. Uh, this box is really, really good quality. So it's got a really nice finish to it. Okay. And inside the box, you get a Japanese rule book. Okay, a four page Japanese rule book. Very colourful and in my favourite colour, purple! Okay, so we have that and this awesome cute little player board. Very colourful and on the back it's just got a white uh, backing paper to it and it opens up this way. So usually the board games have the images on the inside but this one has it on the outside. Okay. And which means it'll lay flat when you open it up. Sometimes some of the board games, if the images are printed here, sometimes the board doesn't lay flat. So really, really nice quality with the board. And you get some awesome coloured dice cubes. Okay. You get a blue one, a purple one, a green one, a yellow one and a red one. And this cool looking dice, which I'll talk about in a bit, as well as some cards. Okay, so the cards have various uh, flavors on them, which represent the candy. Okay, and there is one set per player, as well as a gold card. Chaser is a bluffing game and it reminds me a little bit of Abandoned Ship where people are playing mice and they're trying to get off the ship and uh, get their mice off the ship and they have a secret goal. So this is kind of similar to that. You basically, you're given a secret goal card which is the candy that you're trying to smuggle and get to the highest point on the board and not have anyone guess which candy you're trying to smuggle. Each player gets given a set of cards. Okay. These will be used towards the end of the game during the guessing phase. Everybody will get one of these goal cards. Okay. That's the candy that you're trying to smuggle. Now, uh, I would recommend that you sleeve these because mine already, um, you can see that it's showing some markings or maybe maybe it's a bit hard to see. See, this card already has uh, part of it, part of the corner's gone white. So sleeve these cards because these are the, these are meant to be secret. Okay, so you give everybody one of these. Okay, face down, they get to look at it. And then we start playing the game. At the beginning of the game, we have a smuggling phase where everyone's trying to push the candy up. Once someone's pushed the candy to the goal, we go through a guessing phase. And if people guess correctly which candy you're smuggling, you're out of the game. And whoever's candy is highest or nearest the goal is the winner. And the tiebreaker is the candy at the top has precedence and then, so for example, if these two were here and they were the only remaining players, then red would win. So during the smuggling phase, in order to move your candy up, on your turn you'll be rolling this dice, then moving it according, uh, moving a candy according to whatever you roll. So if you have a look at this dice, there are four sides that are blue and the coloured pip indicates how many spaces you move. So 
If it's blue, you're going to move the candy up the chart and forward. Okay. And if it's red, you're going to move the candy back. So if there's one pip, you move a candy one space forward. If there's three, you move a piece of candy three spaces forward. If there's one red pip, you move a candy back one. And then if there's two red pips, you move a candy back two. So there are two of these moving forward two spaces. Okay? So once you roll this, you can choose any candy to move. So this is where the bluffing comes in. So if I rolled a three and um, I started off moving my candy forward, it might be a bit obvious. So I might want to move someone else's candy forward. And then maybe when I rolled a one, I might move my own candy back a bit so it would look like it might not be mine and so on. So we go around in clockwise order doing this until we have a situation like this. Okay. In order for a candy to reach the goal, another piece of candy has to have passed the number three point. So if yellow was here, yellow rolled two, yellow cannot go all the way to the goal by itself. Okay. It needs to have another piece of candy within this darker coloured section in order to reach the goal. Okay, so that's the only stipulation for reaching the goal. As soon as someone reaches the goal, the game stops there and then we go into the guessing phase. The player who pushes the candy up to the goal, the next player starts the guessing phase. So during the guessing phase, on your turn you have five of these cards, one for each of the candy. You may choose to um, accuse or guess the person's candy. For example, if I decided to, I, I thought the player over there was smuggling the strawberry candy, I would pass them the card, they would look at it. If it was correct, they'd be out. If it was incorrect and I guessed wrong, I'm out. Okay, so I can either guess and I can continue guessing as many times as I want, or I can not guess. Okay, and then we go around and everyone has a choice of whether they want to guess or they don't want to guess who's smuggling what candy. Then the remaining players, we have a look on the candy price list and whoever's at the top wins. So in this case, yellow would win. But if yellow got guessed out, then red would win. love this little game. It's a really, really quick filler and every time we play it, we play it more than once. If you like games that are simple to teach and have that fun bluffing element to it, then I highly recommend getting Candy Chaser. Now this game is probably not available outside of Japan. You can get this game in Japan pretty easily. Um, you can get it, I believe you can get it on the Grounding website as well as other online stores. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you one of my favourite little games at the beginning of 2014. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.